Hi everyone, my name is Tara Arnold and welcome to my channel where I do channelings of St. Germain. And today I've asked him um, to channel for the collective any blocks to finding your soulmate, your love interest, that uh, life partner, whatever you want to call it. But uh, Christmas is approaching and maybe it'd be a great Christmas present um, to have that love interest show up in your life. So um, I've asked him to channel a general one for the collective on uh, many blocks um, that are, are uh, preventing people from receiving that love interest so as we are doing this channeling um other ascended masters in saint germain will be bringing through frequencies uh to clear out chakras that are blocked um, to receiving love interest so you might feel something in the heart chakra or um throat chakra and also the um i think it's the sacral chakra so um well actually he's saying any chakra really it just depends on who's receiving it so um, if you don't want to receive any integration to the chakras, you won't. It's always up to you and how you receive. Um, also, if you'd like to comment in the comment section below of any channelings that you would be interested for me to do on YouTube, I can uh, post it here. And uh, so leave a comment in the section below. Any likes or shares, I appreciate. And don't forget to subscribe. So I'm going to begin and um, see what he has to say. Oh yes, welcome. I am St. Germain and there are many of us in the collective today. We welcome you all. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day it is and it is now more beautiful with you in it. Ah, we wish for you to see this beauty within yourselves. Uh, Tara, our channel has asked us uh, how to attract a, a soulmate or a life partner to you and we wish to say that many of you watch this are um, your desire is not matching the vibration that you are at you are projecting out to the universe or asking the universe uh, for uh, a, a certain um, vibration of love that you wish to receive but yet you are not loving yourself in the same way uh, already it is that uh, the more you love yourself the more you will attract that vibration to you uh, to match that if the universe universe was to deliver the desired um if the universe was to deliver to you at this time um the the vibrational frequency to match how you are loving yourself it would not be what your desire is you are asking for something that you are not yet ready to receive we would say it is not all of you but it is many of you and as you begin to love yourselves uh, more on a deeper level you will attract to you um that which you desire with if the universe sent to you um uh, what you uh where you're vibrating at now it would not be a match to your desires uh, do you understand it is that um it is by going in and loving yourselves that uh, you will um, attract that same love to you uh, for your highest good. We would say that many of you have not asked your inner child who they would like to play with when you meet uh, life partners or people to date or uh, soulmates. You um, meet someone and your egoic mind says, ah, this person will make me happy. But have you considered asking yourself? your inner child who they want to play with. Ah, uh, there are many of you who are dating or are married to those who your inner child never wa wanted to play with in the first place. Ah, uh, go in your heart and ask her or him uh, where, where, who they would like to play with. It is your intuition. Your inner child is your, the aspect of your spirit that uh, stays young to experience joy, awe, uh, wonder, and innocence. And if you are um, connecting with the inner child, it is your heart, it is your intuition. Ah, is this person safe for me to play with? Does my inner child feel safe to be around this person? There are many of you that go on a first date and you have anxiety. It is your inner child not feeling safe. Uh, you are dating someone new, you have not asked my permission, and how do I know that this person is safe? How do I know? 
that uh, they will not hurt me. I've been hurt in the past and uh, uh, several times, and I am afraid of this happening again. We would say that as you uh, work with your inner child prior to a first date, ask permission uh, from your heart. Uh, mm, some of you are saying at this time, uh, but how do I do that? We would say uh, those who can visualize, it is a visualization. If you cannot visualize, it is the intention uh, that will um, create the same result. Uh, it is okay if you are not uh, understanding at the beginning when you connect with your inner child, but as you um, connect more with your inner child, you will uh, begin to uh, create the belief within your reality that uh, 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 they are there in your heart and they are going to direct you with um, uh, how to find joy. And we would say that uh, having them help you uh, pick who they would like to play with uh, in life uh, is a good start. Ha ha. It is uh, that by going within uh, a visualization Ah, I will visualize myself as a child and ask uh, them if they would like to play with this person. If it feels unsafe, I will put them in a safe place in my visualization so that the inner child does not have to go on the date. Uh, we would say that uh, when you ask permission uh, to that aspect of your spirit, um, they will feel respected. Did you not feel disrespected as a child? Did you not feel unheard as a child? Did anybody ever ask you your permission for what you wanted. This is you giving respect to that aspect of your spirit that has felt rejected and, and ignored your whole life. There are many of you that have had uh, playmates or partners or love interests or friends, uh, best friends that uh, your inner child never felt safe with. And yet you continue to please these people in order to be validated that you're worthy of being loved. And we would say it is time to see that you are consciousness. You are <laughs> perfection. There is nothing broken. There is nothing to be fixed. And as you begin to love that aspect of yourself, you will attract many beautiful people to you. Some of you are asking, is there only one soulmate or is there many? And we would say there are many. There are many matches for all of you. And it is that uh, some have had a soul contract of who they will um, spend their life with and others have had soul contracts with themselves to wait uh, until later in life or experience a lifetime without a partner. It is all uh, for the highest good. There is nothing... Um, mm, wrong except for the uh, judgment uh, from your egoic minds. We would say that in uh, a spiritual perspective, all is in perfection. There are many of you that may change your timeline at any time. There are some that are uh, trying. We do not use terminology trying. One moment, please. Ah, there are some that are um, questioning whether to leave their spouse or partner, and they are mm, not sure of whether this would be a right or wrong decision. And we would say, you cannot get it wrong. Every decision you make, there is another aspect of you that goes and lives out the other decision. Ah, is there another aspect of you that would play out that role? Yes, you cannot get it wrong. If your intuition is telling you to get out of an unsafe relationship or an unhappy marriage, we would say uh, follow your heart, follow your, your inner child. She, she or he will lead you to a better uh, place. Ah. There are many of you that are seeking a soulmate and uh, you are wearing perfumes or scented products and we would say that uh, this is blocking you from receiving uh, uh, the, uh, from the, the mm, vibrational frequency of the pheromones. The, the scent, the smells of your physical body uh, have certain frequencies and when your egoic mind tells you to cover up your um, body with perfumes and chemicals, it blocks uh, the soulmate from finding you. It blocks your uh, life partner from uh, smelling you, we would say. Hmm. If you look in nature, do animals not sniff each other out? Well, you are all animals. Ah, but your egoic minds are telling you to uh, wear perfume so that you will smell better to attract people. This is a trick of the ego. It is actually preventing you from receiving um, 
the, uh, the vibrational match uh, to which you are seeking. Ah. If you are wearing perfumes and you are on the street and you uh, walked past your soulmate, uh, how could they smell you? Ah. Oh. This goes uh, beyond uh, uh, the conscious mind with the sense. You are not actually going to go around sniffing people. Ah, we are saying that uh, on a subconscious level, your uh, the vibrational frequency of the smell, you will recognize it. And it, they, we, we would say that there are um, many of you who are... Um, Ah, oh, covering up uh, their beautiful smell. And uh, we wish for you to uh, uh, not be afraid to show who, who you are. We are showing Tara that the egoic mind um, will trick you into putting on perfumes uh, as, um, uh, co uh, to um, portray more confidence. And we would say you do not need that. You are perfection. Ah, oh, one moment, please. Oh yes, we wish to uh, tell you that there are um, if frequencies being integrated and transmuted uh, to the heart chakra at this time. If you uh, feel it through this video, then uh, um, it is clearing out uh, blocks uh, to receiving a, a soulmate. You have had many uh, lifetimes of uh, past lifetimes of um, pain with in the heart and uh, uh, from rejection and from. Uh, um Ah, oh, loss and grief of losing a loved one. Many of you are putting up walls of protection. I do not want to get hurt again, so I will um, put up these walls so that I will be safe. And we would say it is when you allow yourself to feel the emotions of the, the pain that you was created from a rejection or from a loss of a loved one it will open up more conscious space and you will attract more uh, conscious love to you. Ah, oh, do not be afraid to feel these emotions. They are meant to pass through you, but you were taught to um, bury those feelings. Do not show your emotions. Do not show anger or hate or rage or sadness or grief, but we would say, if you do not express those, they get buried inside and they create disease in the body. Allow yourself to feel the past pains from relationships. All of you at this time are clearing uh, for past lifetimes. Your past lifetimes are happening now and it is that you are creating um, similar um, uh, situations to bring up the same emotions to be uh, loved and transmuted back to love. This uh, is a lifetime where you are awakening to remember who you are as conscious beings and as you awaken uh, when these emotions come up they feel more intense because you are bringing them up from past lifetimes it is not only this lifetime that you are transmuting these uh, deep feelings of rejection some of you say well I do not want to go into another relationship because I cannot take another rejection or another pain and we would say um, as you transmute that pain back to love uh, the next uh, um, uh, time you feel it, it won't be so um, harsh. It won't be so unsettling. It will be um, that you have already transmuted it back to love and it does not hurt us uh, as much in um, the perception. You are perceiving um, yourself as suffering, and we would say you are not victims of suffering. You are warriors of experience, and all of you who have created uh, many heartbreaks uh, with loved ones or soulmates or, or partners or... Um, boyfriends or girlfriends or husbands and wives you have created these situations for your highest good you have created them to transmute uh, all the um, emotions felt within these relationships back to love uh, is it not uh, that you go to the deepest darkness with someone you love the most this is the game of the polarities you are here on planet earth to play the game of polarities how do you know who you are if you have nothing to compare it to as you are in a relationship Relationship and you um, maybe lose a loved one to death or you lose a loved one to rejection or they find 
someone else. Um, this brings up many uh, pains at the deepest level. Then you will know the compassion and the polarity of that in love. That is the game of planet Earth polarities of contrast. You are here to play that game. From a soul's perspective, it is a fun game. From an ego perspective, you are suffering. We would say change your um, perception. Am I standing in the eyes of fear or the eyes of love? If I am having a fear-based emotion around um, something in a relationship, then I am standing in a third dimension perspective of fear. But if I am looking at everything as uh, my creation, I take responsibility that I have created this situation, uh, then you have the power to transmute it back to love. You are saying, oh, I created um, and manifested this good thing in my life, but we wish for you to also embrace the things that you perceive as bad or not good. They are perfection as well. And as you uh, begin to love um, all situations and all um, uh, things in your life that you have created and you take full responsibility that you have created them, you will be able to transmute them back to love and not create that again in your reality. You are saying, well, uh, okay, and well, am I blaming myself then for my boyfriend leaving me? And we would would say it is not about blaming that would keep you in a fear-based um, vibration it is about taking responsibility that you created the boyfriend leaving you uh, for your highest good so that you could transmute those feelings of rejection back to love once you accept it and fully take responsibility for it you now have the power to change it and your next relationship will be with more ease you will not have the fear of rejection but if you were saying ah I am not taking responsibility for creating this in my reality, then you will keep recreating it. Uh, there are many patterns here of the people watching this video. There are many patterns in relationships. Uh, we wish for you all to look back at the, the main pattern. We are showing Tara that it is uh, there is a root emotion uh, for each relationship that you've had. There are, mm, we would say, two or three um, precise um, and... Um, Ah, precise uh, and repetitive emotions that you have created in each, each relationship. This is the key. Look back to uh, what e emotions. Uh, we will use Tara as an example. She created uh, much rejection in her life. Uh, we will use this uh, as an example. When she created rejection from um, past relationships, uh, each time she took responsibility that she had created this for her highest good. And uh, we would say uh, not for many years did she do this, but when she realized that she created it, she began to transmute it uh, back to love. And each time she uh, worked with these emotions and transmuted them, then um, she did not uh, need to create the rejection again. This is uh, what we would recommend for all of you to uh, look back uh, since childhood and relationships and each one has a root emotion that you had created and recreated. This is the emotion that is there to be loved. We would say pick it up like a child and love it and as you love it you will transmute it back to love. Work with this aspect of yourself that is feeling this pain of mm, well for example Tara's was rejection. So if that is in your um, uh, history as well, then that is the emotion that's there to be loved. We would say all fear-based emotions are consciousness. They, uh, the egoic mind is running the programs of fear, but the egoic mind uh, is created by consciousness. It is uh, love that has forgotten it is light. It is um, a light that has forgotten it is love. You see, as you love the aspects of the egoic mind and the fear-based emotions, you transmute that back to love. All is well, and uh, all of you have many partners that you uh, would attract to yourselves. Uh, we would say mm, get into the highest vibration of love in order to receive these partners. Ah, all is well. Ah, we wish you a Merry Christmas for those who celebrate Christmas, and we are wishing you a Happy Holidays. And much love from the collective. You do not need Tara to connect with us. We are here. Call us in. We will uh, guide you and work with you directly. Ah. 
everyone thanks for watching this channel and I hope you enjoyed today's video um, if there's anybody who would like to per book a personal session or a channeling session like learn how to channel with St. Germain I do teach those courses online there's two courses that I teach and uh, I channel St. Germain to teach them so he reads your vibration and then he creates the course based on where you're vibrating at so it's a it's a great one-on-one -on -one session you learn lots um, and you get to find out exactly what you need to know because it's based on where you're um, vibrating at and what you uh, need to hear at this time so um, he would love to talk to all of you if you're watching these videos it means that you're already resonating with him or working with him on some level so um, you don't need me to connect with him he's he's wanting to connect with everyone he's working with many people at this time um, i'll leave my website at the end of this video and also if you'd like to subscribe i'll be posting more videos um, i'm going to be posting them weekly from now on and uh, i appreciate your views have a great day